friends, I'm Charlie, I am a designer and a YouTuber and I'm here on the Webflow channel for our annual design trends overview. Webflow and I have been collaborating on these videos for the past few years now and I'm here to bring you my top five trends from Webflow's 2021 design trend list. For this year's trends list, we're focused on how visual design trends and underlying concerns of design as a whole can come together to solve problems. So let's get into it and cover my top five trends for 2021. First trend up, retro fonts. Now we're used to this pattern in design, right? Of seeing old things become cool again and throwback typography is definitely having a bit of a resurgence at the moment. And instead of seeing the same old tired fonts that we're used to seeing, there's a lot of customization and, and stylization going into making these fonts really unique and bringing a lot of artistry to the web. The page for Spotify's carnival promotion is a great example of this merging of old and new where they've used these bold fonts, but with a lot of experimentation within them to, to breathe new life into them. And it's giving me major 90s vibes and I love it. They've taken these traditional fonts and given them this cool modern spin, but also maintain legibility throughout, which is really important. And speaking of the 90s, this website here for event planning company Goliath Entertainment has a very strong sense of retro futurism going on. The bold typography is giving a nod to the past while still feeling very much of the moment of 2021. As the year evolves, I'm really looking forward to seeing more creative typography on the web and seeing where designers take this. Trend number two, 3D visuals. With technological advancements and the advent of higher and higher resolution screens, 3D design has come a long way from the blocky and beveled edges of things like GeoCities. We've been seeing high quality 3D visuals weaved seamlessly into web designs. And instead of being garish distractions, they're actually working to improve the overall user experience. Here's a great example of that from the creative agency Senep. They throw in dashes of depth with 3D elements throughout their website. And there's a really nice sense of harmony here with all the design elements. This is a perfect example of how in more minimalist layouts, 3D can make an even bigger impression and possibly be much better than a flat 2D illustration. Trend number three, Gaussian blur. Now, this is a design style that's been around for a while, but lately designers have been working it more and more into web designs. This homepage for Moment House begins not with a hero image, but with a pleasing Gaussian blur of color. It lends a really atmospheric feel to the site and directly ties in nicely to this LA cityscape photo below it. It's like capturing that lens of golden light and haze. I don't know, it's just beautiful. I also love this blur in the background of the monograph communications site. It's like this fluffy blending of red, purple, and blue, and it's a beautiful contrast between the straight lines and typography that overlay it. And then there's this vapor-like bubble of Gaussian blur on the Good Books site. I love how the shape and the color here is like shifting and evolving. It creates a really nice visual anchor and a really interesting choice as a design element to add to the hero section of your site instead of a photograph or an illustration. I love when things like this happen where you have a design style or you know tool option that's been around for a long time like Gaussian Blur has and seeing designers use it in new and interesting ways. So instead of blurring out a photo, for example, now we're blurring colors to create these cool atmospheric spaces on our websites. Trend number four, geometric grids. Now grids are always used within design to help us create a clear layout with good structure, with good balance, but the grid itself, the lines we use, aren't always visible. With this trend, however, we really lean into it and make the lines visible, make them part of the design to hold space. It gives a really bold, yet still clean and structured look. Take this site for Hudson, Gavin and Martin, for example. It uses very clear blocks for both navigational elements as well as content. It's got these big squares of color that you know, look really cool and are fun to navigate through, but also work really well in keeping your attention on the page. It's quite the contrast to the previous trend of the Gaussian blur, right? Where with this trend, we're having very clear, sharp, strong lines dividing up a page. Check out Flamingo's website, for example, where we see the grid in action through all these dark black outlines across elements. And for a bit of a lighter touch, check out the Skin Labs website where we can see the grid in action through their product arrangement right here, but the lines are just a bit fainter. Still has a lot of strength to it though, and is still like holding that space. So geometric grids are an interesting trend to lean into to provide a lot of structure and straightforward presentation to a design. And trend number five is multimedia experiences. 
with more and more people having access to fast internet connections and this desire to consume content through multiple different mediums, we're seeing multimedia web experiences popping up everywhere. They bring together text, visuals, video, audio, together to provide a really unique user experience. Check out Nicholas Herrera's site, which has these playback controls for a beautiful background video. Now, background videos in the header of a website have been commonplace for a while, but this site here is giving the user the option to engage with it and giving them the choice of what video they're seeing as well. It can be played, it can be paused, you can see how far into the video you are. It's a really new way of tackling that background video idea. We've also noticed a trend in giving readers of an article the option to listen to it instead. Offering up audio like this as an integral part of the design removes any accessibility barriers for those with visual impairments and also for people who just prefer to listen to a large chunk of text rather than read it. Multimedia experiences give users choice and allow for information to be consumed in whichever way suits them best. It'd be really easy to go too far with multimedia experiences though. So successful multimedia designs in 2021 will use a little bit more constraint and be thoughtful about which media you're choosing to show and always give the users choice over interacting with it. We don't want to see auto playing, especially of audio. There will be playback controls, there will be closed captioning or transcripts for any video and audio content. All imagery will come with alt text and text inside of any visual elements on the page will be rendered with HTML and not embedded into the image itself. There's a lot of opportunities here with multimedia to create really rich and interesting, engaging user experiences, but this choice to go the multimedia route does come with the responsibility to make sure you're doing it in a really effective and accessible way. And we've left a link in the description box of this video where you can find more information and more resources on this if you want to pursue that path. Those are my top five trends from Webflow's annual roundup post, but I hope you'll click through to the link in the description and read the full 21 because there's a lot of exciting stuff that I couldn't fit in in this video. And if you want to hang out with me some more on video, then you should head over to my channel, Charlie Marie TV, where I talk about design and careers and all that stuff. I hope this list inspired you to maybe try some new things in your designs this year, to take these trends and push them in ways to make them your own so we can keep making the web a beautiful, creative, inspiring space. I'm really excited about the direction the design industry is moving in and I hope you are too. Thanks for watching.